Hi guys, I am back with another video. Cardi B and Glorilla's performance and Lizzo's heartfelt message to Cardi B. Let's get into it. So Glorilla brought Cardi B out for the AMAs. That was hot. That was dope. A lot of people wasn't expecting that. That was a real good look. And so Cardi B went live and she was talking about how Glorilla is, how she remind her of her best friend. I told y'all that's how she feel about her. Like she real cool. So I'm going to go ahead and play that part for you and I'll come back with the rest of my commentary. I saw Nisi Nash today for the first time ever. And her body is so fucking sickening. <clears throat> yes, bitch. So anyways, I'm going to make him this drink that y'all could do it at home and everything. First of all, um, congrats on Glorilla. And congrats on the performance. Because, bitch, we was nervous as shit. But it came out good. It came out good as fuck. Let me tell you something. I love Glorilla. If you don't fucking like me, fine. But like Glorilla. She she reminds me, literally, this is so weird. Like, she reminds me of my best friend, Kida. Y'all know I was rapping about Kida. Uh, Ash Cash Legit. She reminds me of her. Because, like, first of all, they don't look alike. But it's crazy because they both, like, yellow bones with green eyes. <laughs> all right. So, Kida, she's always smoking. And Glorilla, she's always smoking. And they just, like, love to make jokes. And then, like, Glorilla, she drinks Taylor Port. But Kida, she drinks beer. She just reminds me of my best friend. And... Um, I just love her. She's like real the definition of humble. Like, I know sometimes y'all be getting on some hating ass shit when somebody really make it, but don't hate on her. Like, there's some people that I feel like y'all just be hating because they make it. Don't hate on her because she's really like a sweet ass, dope ass person. And I just love her. Like, I don't know if I'm a fan of her or something. I don't know what it is. Like, I just really love her. Like, I really like and I'm not even, I'm not like a fake playing best friend with bitches and shit like that. I just really like, I don't know what it is. Like, I'm just like, like, I'm infatuated with her. Like, I fucking, I love her. I love her. I love her so much. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm like a big fan. Uh, yes, like I am. I love her. That's what it is. Uh, I don't know. She just, she just like, look like, she's just a good time. Like, she's just a good time. Fuck, I put the fucking chocolate the wrong. Whatever, hold on. Give me a little mini, y'all. Give me a little mini. Wait, fuck, this motherfucking microwave. I cannot stand it. Okay, here we go. All right. So anyways, so y'all know what song been in my head? It's not a song. It's not a song. I think it's like a TikTok. But, okay, so it's a TikTok, right? Is the Lava TikTok? She need to put that out, cause that shit is in my head. Hold on, cause uh, this here was nasty song. He love it when I put it up in my panties on. I'm like, let me put it in. Cause uh, this here is a nasty song. He love it when I pull up with no panties on. She. She need to put that song out. She need to put that song out. Because I cannot stop singing it. I sing it to my nigga all the time. I can't twerk no more. I gotta... And Cardi B also performed with Lizzo. And Lizzo was talking about how, you know, she was a fan of hers before even loving hip-hop and all of that. So Lizzo said this, I am a fan of Cardi B. I've been following her since before Love & Hip Hop. But as much as I fan over her as an artist, who she is as a person is unmatched. At I am Cardi B. Thank you for always coming through for me. For standing up for us when you don't have to. You the people's champ. I love you. Now that was real dope. That was real dope. Like, I always felt like Lizzo felt like that about her. And Cardi B do be there for them. And Cardi B do show love. And she is a real genuine person. Not just as an artist. Like, I really like her as an artist. Like I said, when she was the underdog. For Love and Hip Hop. She started on Love and Hip Hop and everything. She was the underdog. And she was real humble. Even when she came up. Like, even now, she's humble. And she is a real, true person. And that's what we like about her. We like her personality. Her, herself. Like, not just her music. Her herself that makes the whole package. 
But anyway, y'all, I thought it was kind of dope how, you know, she show up for them. She and their music. It's not just about the music. It's about the friendships and how she get along with them and stuff like that and how they look at her. Like, she's a real true person. And people give Cardi B a hard time, but Cardi B is humble. She's humble. She, you know, she left the ghetto, but she still can get down to be ghetto and be, you know, chill and not that, oh, I'm all this, all that. She's showing who she really is. I know sometimes when you get famous, you got to act a little bit different, but she still let y'all know she true to who she is. But anyway, I need y'all to comment down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to Banger Plate Gang, subscribe to Trish World. Make sure you check me out on social media and make sure you check out my shop. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, be blessed. Anyway, enough of that stuff.